Hi, this video will discuss natural monopolies. So what is a natural monopoly? It's a monopoly created due to cost advantages. A company has long-run average costs that are declining as output expands. So these are the conditions that are ripe to create a natural monopoly. Let's go into more detail. So a firm has a cost advantage over other firms. It's conditions where you would see a natural monopoly or a single firm emerging. Also the government can create a monopoly, but this video is going to focus on this first bullet point about cost advantages for a firm. So let's talk about natural monopoly more. First, what is it? It's a situation where there's one firm that can produce the entire output in the market at a lower cost than if you had multiple firms. So this is common in the public utilities arena. And the reason why is that we believe that public utilities are natural monopolies. So governments frequently grant monopoly rights to these public utilities or public companies to provide services such as water treatment, or natural gas, or electricity, or even mail delivery. All of these are examples of natural monopolies. So in our area, Greenville Utilities is a natural monopoly because they are the only provider of electricity in the city of Greenville. So what does this look like using cost curves? So one example of a natural monopoly would be a situation where you have average cost, but as you expand output, continue to decline, approaching the marginal cost of production. So in such a scenario, maybe you need 12 units produced. Well, if you had a single firm, they could do so at an average cost of 15. Whereas if you had two firms that share the 12 units, each firm making six, now we're talking about a higher average cost of 20. So if the firm priced at their average cost, consumers would pay 20. Whereas if you had a single firm, a natural monopolist, producing all 12 units, they could produce at 15 and still break even. So this is why the government creates or carves out markets and allows natural monopoly to occur, declining average cost. It's also worth pointing out that the government also needs to regulate these businesses to make sure they don't take advantage of their market power, take advantage of their ability to raise the price above average cost in order to make a profit. So that's our discussion on natural monopoly.